Are we back, Momo? Are we back? Momo Is the prodigal sour. son returned? Momo and sour worms. Has the prodigal son returned? Momo and sour worms. No. I haven't done this in so long, I don't even remember how to do this for this channel. You do the intro. We're back! With no cats. We're back and we still have no cats. No. And they're over there in the sunshine because it's winter. And yet here we are in just sweatshirts and we complain that it's cold. So we wanted to make this video because we've kind of let this channel go unattended we've for busy. too long. Yeah. So between full-time jobs and life. All this year started very tough with like load shedding. Nope, he doesn't want it. And <laughs> Um, so Wait, we've had like 12 hours of no power during the day. It slowed down a bit, but we have had solar installed thanks to your lovely mother. Couldn't have done it without her. So life is a little bit back to normal. And we also, beginning of the year, had some relatively bad news regarding Maya, yep. which we then obviously had to deal with on an emotional level. She's still alive, don't panic. We'll make a <laughs> whole video about what's going on with her. But anyways, yeah. So we wanted to update you on the cats. We want to move this channel a bit more towards life with the cats again and not only us going on adventures. And yet we can't get a single cat into this <laughs> video right now. Let's do an update. Should we go eldest to youngest? Oh. Just a quick, 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 quick update. Yes. No details. Alice. Still alive, still alive. Still alive. <laughs> wow. Alice is, is living her best life. 15 now. So she's quite the senior. She is doing wonderful. She has slowed down a little and because it's cold now, her arthritis is kicking in a little bit. But except for that, she's same old Alice. She plays with Momo every day. Last night at 3 a.m. she had the zoomies. And she's just living her best life. She's very healthy, very happy. Then we have Maya, our problem child currently. So Age I'm not is hitting her a bit harder. Yeah, I'm not going to go into major detail because we'll do a separate video about it. But her health has not been the best. But except for that, we're dealing with it. She is being medicated and she is, generally speaking, doing okay at the moment. Who comes next? Kebby. Kib Kib. Kib Kib. Also kind of doing her own thing, living her life. Is doing really quite well. She has been a little grumpier lately, I think because Momo and Luna are both being very boisterous because, well, I think Momo has always been the alpha, so he's just boisterous in general, but Luna has now reached the age where she thinks she can challenge for a better position in our little pack. It's not a pack for cats. Clouder in our clouder, so, and Kebby seems to be her target for domineering. So Kebby has been dealing with that and she's not thrilled about it. But otherwise she's happy, she's healthy, and she's very cuddly these days because it's cold and very talkative, which I love. Then we have Mr. Barber. Who was on a one day outing the other day. He, he doesn't, we have a very safe backyard. I think we've mentioned this in our videos before and they don't usually leave, but evidently he, we don't quite know what happened. I don't know if he and Momo got in a tiff. So, uh, something must have happened during the night. I don't know if uh, Momo bullied him or just asserted his dominance once and Riu decided he had enough. So he left the property and he didn't come for breakfast and then he didn't come for dinner. And as I started panicking and alerting the entire neighborhood that my cat was missing, he waltzed into the property like nothing <laughs> ever. <laughs> we had him, we checked him out. There's no injuries, nothing. So he probably really just, he was probably at the neighbors or something. He probably didn't even go far, to be honest. Momo is over there. Coming over there. to conveniently to him then, the little prince. I don't know if you can see him. You can't. Over, he's on your shoulder. If you move, if you sit right here, he's sitting on Toby's shoulder. Momo. Momo is Momo. Momo little prince. is a little prince. He is spoiled. He knows it. He knows he can get away with everything. He hasn't changed at all. Really he not. He's the boss. He is the boss. He's the boss of us. He's the boss of the other cast. He's the boss of everyone. Yeah, there's really nothing to report about Momo. He's still exactly the same. He's boisterous. He's playful. He is 
very much the spoiled little prince that he is. He is super cuddly and clingy at the moment because of the weather. Um, so I have the heater on in, in my office and then he literally just comes and sits on me all day. And then I get like dead knees and dead legs and he's just like, you will not move, human. You belong to me. And D last but not least. Luna is always on her another mission. Even if it's freezing cold in the mornings, like all the cats will huddle inside where it's warm. Luna will be outside in the backyard sitting in the... She's proven to be quite a little winter cat. Yeah. Um, she's gotten very big. She's one of the bigger cats we have. I think she's mm. about Momo's size, which, um, and Momo's a big dude. Not like Maine Coon big, but for a standard cat, he is a big cat. And she's about his size as a female. That's quite impressive. She is still very, very curious, but also super... She doesn't get along with Ryu, but still she kind of follows him around and then is confused when he chases her. But also she's very like jumpy. So if like a loud noise happens, she'll immediately run away, but never very far. She'll run like a couple of meters and then she'll like come back very inquisitive. Sometimes there won't even be a lot loud noise. I watched her walking around the pool the other day and literally out of nowhere, she just like jumps up and runs off. Yeah. But she's a sweetie. She's really, really cute and cuddly mm. and she's fit in very, very nicely. I mean, she was still fairly young when we did our last video. I think she's about a year now. Yeah, she's fit in very, very nicely. My mom chose her very well. So whenever she visits, it's just, except for Ryu and can be occasionally now because she's trying to change the pecking order. She gets along very well with everyone. Mm. She and Momo, thickest thieves. You can get up to nonsense like thieves yeah. as well. Like twice a day, they have the zoomies together. They like coordinate their zoomies and then all we see is a flash of white, a flash of gray, a flash of white, a flash of gray. And then depending, they like take turns who gets to hunt who. So it's been really amazing for Momo to have someone closer to mm. Let out some page. energy with. Over the last couple of days, like, cause I work in everything YouTube, like my whole job is basically a surrounded around YouTube, so I thought it's a bit sad that we kind of let this channel go a bit. So we want to revive it and rebuild the community. So one of the challenges we've always had is finding topics to make videos about with the cats. So if you guys can suggest anything, mm. any kind of like little stories or topics or anything that would help greatly, um, yeah, just pop them in the comments and- Any subjects you're interested yeah. to. I mean, even if we don't have the expertise, we'll do <clears> some <throat> research and try to put some points together <clears throat> if it can help other people. Yeah, and they might be a little that. bit less frequently because full-time jobs, you know. Let's see how it goes. We've got a few things lined up. Maya's video will give you an update on her. Then we had to change them all back to dry food instead of raw food. That's a whole topic on its own as well, I think. But it relates to the Maya incident. Yeah, and so. everyone else. That's our little life story. Leave us Look a comment. out for more videos to come in the future. And like, subscribe, hit the belly thingy, majingy, and we shall see you soon to update From you now on Maya. On all videos will include cats, not just us. There will be a minimum of five minutes of cats in every video. So even if we do go on adventures without them, we'll still include them at some point, somehow. We've got a big trip to Europe plan in September, we'll somehow include them in that as well. I don't know how you want to do that, but... Your mother will have to send video. So you want grainy, crappy footage <laughs> of her going. She'll be watching this. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. See you in the next See you in the one. Next one. Bye. Cheers.